So we've seen how to add items and collections to you, uh, the Omeka site. And what I want to do now is talk about how to build exhibits. So exhibits, again, are supposed to be the curated portion of your site. So where you're going to tell the story of whatever theme that you are working on. So over here, uh, we can see on the sidebar there's a link for exhibits. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see that there's already one that exists that we're going to take a look at. But if you want to create a new one, which you'll need to for your particular project, you'll click Add an Exhibit, and that's how you can get started. So editing and taking a look at the one that already exists, you can see there's some basic information here. And I'll go through that in a little more detail, but I'm just going to view the public page right now, which allows us to preview what this is going to look like for an end user. So I've obviously only put uh, a tiny little bit of information here rather than a lot, so it's a little bit sparse, but you're going to actually fill out more information than I have. Okay, so you can see there's a landing page here, and there's some links on the side to the different pages that I've created for this exhibit, and each of these pages is going to contain different information. So here uh, is a specific album and a sample uh, of a song from that album that I can play. And uh, if I jump to different pages, I can get different kinds of information. And you can see this one actually has two sub-pages related to it right here. And I can click on those. Okay, so that gives you a brief sense of like what the structure of this thing looks like. Uh, so now when we go back and actually start editing it, you know what it is that you'll be doing ideally. So you can see uh, there's some basic information that you need to fill out. Uh, you need to give your exhibit a title and a URL which sort of matches that title and slug is a weird word for the URL ending uh, so I just chose electronic dash music and a brief description now uh, we can add obviously a lot more and you're gonna want to do that for your project but I'm just gonna say a little bit more here Uh, you can add tags if there's a series of thematic tags that relate to your site. Leave the current public theme the same. And I'm going to check off use a summary page because right now, if I don't use a summary page, the exhibit is going to start on whatever the first page in this list is down here. And the first page on my list is venues, and I don't necessarily want to have venues as the first page of my exhibit. So I'm going to save that. And now, if I view the public page, it's going to show uh, welcome. This is an exhibit about electronic music, and it's going to show the sub menu uh, related pages that I can look at. So if I click on venues, I can see that page again with the fog lounge. All right. So, how do I add new pages to the site? Because pages are ultimately how you develop the content of your exhibit. So the first thing you can do is uh, click Add Page. And if I do that, you can see that there are different types of pages I can create. Uh, so I can add a file with text. So if there's an image that's important and then you want to talk a little bit about that image, that would be something you could use. Uh, if there's a select gallery of images that you'd like to add, you can do that. If there's just an essay that you have or a substantial written portion of text, you can do that. And uh, I'm going to say that other than the neat line time option down here, you can leave these ones alone because the mapping of component uh, is going to be handled by Karina, obviously, and what she talked to you about, about with story maps. So uh, neat line time is a way of actually creating a timeline related to the items that you've collected. So suppose there are you know, a series of interesting performances that happened at a venue over a 20 year period, you can use the timeline to plot those uh, when those things happen and that gives users a way of browsing uh, across time uh, through the different events that occurred at a venue. Okay, so I'm just going to keep calling these t uh, additional pages I create test pages. And I'm going to say this one is a file with text. And you can see here that I can choose an item to add to this page. And I'm going to choose uh, this cover here. And I'm going to select that item. Now, I only have a few items on the site right now. 
but once you've started to add multiple items, it might be more difficult to just simply browse through this list to find what you're looking for. If you use the search form, you can then say, focus on a specific collection like this one and view all items in a specific collection. So that will narrow down uh, and might be a helpful way to sift through all the content that's gonna get added to the site over time. All right, anyway, so I'm gonna go back here and I select this item. I'm not gonna apply a caption, if, but I could if I wanted to. And then I can add some text. And obviously you can say a lot more, hopefully, about the uh, content that you'll be showing off. So I'm going to save these changes, and it tells me that that's been successful. Now if I want to jump back to edit my exhibit, notice there's this breadcrumb trail across the top, top here. So I can jump back to my particular exhibit, and if I look down I can see that my new test 3 page is now visible here. So one thing you probably noticed is that there's sort of an indentation or nesting that's happening. And that uh, is what actually creates the menu structure on your exhibit. So if under venues, there are several venues that you're going to be talking about that are all going to have their own page, then um, as you add those new venues, you can indent them by just simply, you can see you can just move these around uh, by dragging and dropping them, and that will create the indentation. So this one, to sort of keep in line with what I've been doing before, I'm going to add to as another page under here and if I'm happy with that I can save changes. Okay. Once again if I view the public page I can now see uh, welcome this is an electronic exhibit about electronic music and I've got when I click about electronic music now I see that there's also all these other sub menu items uh, that are uh, related to this topic. So the idea again would be to cl cluster together related information uh, on the themes that you're talking about for your projects with more detail than I have here clearly. So uh, this one you'll notice, just to, to point it out, um, has multiple things going on. So it's got an album cover and it also has um, a music player. And obviously you may have samples or clips of music that you want to work with. So that is one uh, thing that you'd want to look at. So if I were to go back over here and look at that uh, page, uh, Exit Sound, so I'll click on that. You can see basically all that I've done is instead of just adding one image, I've added an image and also the sound file item. Uh, and once I've done that, that's why I get both of those things appearing on that page over here. So I've got the album cover and then the music player. If you wanted to add more, there's nothing stopping you from continuing to add. So suppose you had clips from all the different songs on this album, you could just keep adding those uh, on the same page, and that's about it. You can also adjust the layout options. You can see where things go. Do you want it on the left or right? Should they be full size or thumbnails? Uh, where do the captions go? So you can also modify some of that stuff right there. And as always, when you're done, save your changes. So that's about it. That's the basics of building exhibits. So just to quickly summarize, um, if you go to the exhibits page, uh, you can add an exhibit and fill out the information about it, just like I have in this one. And building your exhibit means adding new types of pages related to the items that you've already added to the site. And then it gives you the opportunity to sort of tell a more detailed story about those items. And when someone goes and views your exhibit, they can sort of see how you've clustered together and presented the information uh, that you're talking about. So that's about it. Thanks.